In the 1980s, Jerome Jacobson started working at a printing company and closely worked with Simon Marketing, which oversaw the McDonald's Monopoly game. And he was put in charge of making sure that the production and the transportation of the tickets went smoothly. And he built a solid reputation. I mean, he would literally check employees' shoes to make sure nobody was stealing pieces. But later on, a mailing mistake gave him the opportunity to actually begin stealing the pieces himself. The fact that he was on the inside and typically pretty open about making sure the pieces were secure made him all the more dangerous for infiltrating the game. Uncle Jerry, as they called Jerome in the business, uh, ended up becoming a wolf in sheep's clothing of sorts. But he's not the only kind. The kind who may go unnoticed, but who slip in and infiltrate. Jesus mentioned them in Matthew 7. Here's an irony. We work really hard to protect our churches and ourselves as individuals against physical enemies. But sometimes we let spiritual enemies come into our hearts and even our churches and go to work destroying things. And there are all kinds of wolves, not just the false teaching type. Gossipers, liars, overbearing critics, legalists, power-hungry people, divisive people, or people who are living in immorality and inadvertently encouraging people to do the same. And then there are the wolves of sin that we let into our own lives personally. When Jesus wrote the letter to the church at Thyatira in Revelation 2, they had wolves among them. And Jesus calls them to deal with it, but then he also praises those who hadn't given in and tells them to hold fast until he comes. He's still calling us today to deal with the wolves in our lives, in our churches, and then to discern between truth and lies. Tomorrow, we're going to talk more about it. Hope to see you there.